Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Memorial Day weekend, Saturday, May 25th. Man, summer has come in, storms have come in, but it's all good. What do we expect living on this planet, amen, until Jesus returns? Glory be to God. Okay, so today our prayer focus is the military. We'll be praying for the military. Then um, for the United States, we're praying for New York, 10% evangelical Christians, 13 and a half million people in Massachusetts, 6.9 percent, uh, 6.9 million people. <clears throat> excuse me, nine percent evangelical Christians. We're, <coughs> excuse me again. We're praying for Bulgaria, 6.8 million people, just 2 percent evangelical Christians. Please pray for the team as they prepare newsletters out there. Our desire is not only to inform the churches about activity and upcoming projects, but also to use these newsletters as a tool in their efforts. Pray that the Lord will give us engagement ideas for the newsletters to reach men, many for Christ. And then last but not least, our Bible reading is 9, 20 through, through 41. The beginning was about the blind man. Now look what happens in verse 35. Jesus heard that they had cast him out. And when he had found him, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of God? He answered and said, Who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? And Jesus said to him, You have both seen him, and it is he who is talking with you. Then he said, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped him. Amen. Religion casts us out, but Jesus takes us in glory be to God. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Father, again, we praise you and thank you for this day. Thank you that Jesus, he is Lord, and thank you for the resurrection and the light, life. Thank you, Lord, that what you have begun in us, you're going to bring to total completion. You are a good God. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. And we say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, as we begin our time of prayer, we lift up before you our military, Lord. This is Memorial Day weekend, Monday Memorial Day, but this entire weekend with different parades, different events. We pray for those in our military. We pray for those that are in, a, uh, in charge of these young soldiers, that they'll keep these soldiers first, that it won't become just a job and not care about this brother of someone or sister of someone or husband or wife or mother or father by just letting him go out to a useless way. And I just thank you. Thank you for that, for protecting them in Jesus' name. We lift up those in the military, those that are out of the military that have maybe uh, been wounded or hurt or whatever it might be. We pray for them. God help our military, we pray. We pray for this United States of America, and we pray, God, help our country. Lord, we need help. We know it as prayer warriors here, as watchers, we understand the times that we're living in. What did we think it was going to look like before the Lord returned? So we pray for our country. We lift up before you New York and Massachusetts, not many born-again Christians here, but Many people in New York, especially second most populated state, we pray for them, Lord, and we pray for the ones that are unsaved. We pray for the governors of these two states. We pray for the liberal agenda that it can be broken in Jesus' name. We pray for those that are in authority in our executive, legislative, and judicial branch. We pray for Biden, Harris, Schumer, and uh, Johnson and also Roberts. We pray for Johnson as he has asked Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to come and address Congress. I thank you for that, Lord. It's a good step. We lift up the former president before you and we pray as this trial resumes that the favor and the truth would come out in Jesus' name. We lift up the upcoming election, Lord, and we come against any form of cheating any form of uh, funniness, Lord, in any way, that it will be a fair election 
and who wins, we can have confidence in that, in Jesus' name. We lift up Israel before you, Lord, and we pray for the shaking that's going on there. We pray that many would be drawn to you, Lord. Many would hunger you. Yes, they might go back to their temples, but I'm believing there's going to be something that's going to stir within them, Lord. Something that's going to stir within them. And I thank you, thank you for that in Jesus' name. Father, as they continue to find bodies of these hostages, how cruel, how cruel what they're doing, what they did to these girls, to these children, Lord. And also to the men. We pray, Father, for these. We pray for those that might still be there. They don't even know if, how many are going to be alive. What cruel animals these people are. They need to get saved or they need to be eliminated. It's what your word teaches very clearly. So I pray for the IDF that you give them wisdom exactly where they are so that they can come to repentance or come to the sword, one or the other, Lord. Father, I just thank you. Thank you for that, Lord. Father, you said that they don't hold the sword in vain. And that's the way even our police and all. We pray for them, Lord. We pray for them. Lord, for the world today, we pray. We lift up Kakistan, Afghanistan, Krakistan, Tajikistan, Pakistan, India, and Maldives. We pray for all the world wars that are going on, China, surrounding Taiwan, nothing's being done. What weak leaders we have in this world right now. We lift up the Ukraine and Russia war, the Israel and uh, Hamas, Hezbollah, Iran, all that's going on there. Who would have thought just a few years ago there wasn't one war going on, and then this new administration, what a, what a shame, horrible, horrible. Call it what it is, it's just horrible. We pray, Father, for these young people that are being killed, Lord. They should be getting married, having children, living a life, and they're just being killed for no reason. Weakness. How sad. How sad. We pray. We pray for those that are lost, Lord, today, and we pray that scales would come off their eyes and many would be born again, Lord. I lift up the prayer cards that have come in, and there are those praying for the lost even here, Lord. We pray. We pray for these in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, also for those that need healing on these cards, Lord, and I thank you for that. Thank you in Jesus' name. We lift up ministries that are doing great works for you, Lord. There are so many. We only know so many ourselves. We pray for the Gideons. We pray for a praying effectively for the lost. We pray for the Jesus Film Project. We pray for Renew World Outreach, Resonant Global Mission, Revival Movement Association, Re Rivers of Life Church, Romania Missionary Society, Reach, and we pray for these works, Lord, in the different areas around the world. We lift up every church that's preaching the gospel, that hasn't gone woke, that is staying true, standing up for Israel, standing up for children, standing up for the sanctity of marriage, the sanctity of life, and we surround them as we lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church before you. And we pray, Father, for our body, their bodies, Lord, but we're all one body in you, Lord. So we lift this all up before you in Jesus' name. We also take a moment now to just pray and seek your face, Lord. Lord, we ain't going to make this happen. We want to be led by the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit, if there's a need out here with my brothers and sisters, and I know there is, we all have needs, I just thank you for these faithful ones to bring healing into their life. I just heard the word restoration. I don't know if there's a marriage situation going on right now, but we pray for restorations right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Restoration. Rest oh, yes, Lord. Could be restoration of finances, too. Someone has been taken advantage of, and there could be a, there's going to be a restoration 
for you in Jesus' name, restoration. Father, I pray for these precious ones that are with me today. And I just pray your blessing upon them and their families. I pray for strength in their being. I pray for a hunger and thirst to serve you. And I thank you for that. I thank you that you that has begun the good work in us, that you will bring it to completion. Thank you, Father. That as tithers, we have tithers' rights. That our appliances work good. Our vehicles work good. On and on, we thank you. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Now, Father, as we start wrapping up, we give you all the praise and the glory that's due your name. There is no other name to be exalted but the name of Jesus. We love you. We worship you. And we thank you for this time together now. Mwah! In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Sunday, one more day, we'll be coming together for church. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.